Yo, y'all already know what's cool for Marco with King. We bet with another video. Look, we're on a we're on a Mr. Beast hate train right now. So I gotta keep that going for a little bit because Mr. Peace gets views. That's why. <laughs> Can I be honest? Can I be honest? Y'all gonna hate me for being honest. So today we're gonna be reacting to Fake Mr. Beast, the meme that ruined a creator's life. I don't even know who fake Mr. Beast. I don't know nothing about this. So we gonna we gonna see it. We gonna watch it. Before we get straight into this, I need y'all to like. I need y'all to comment, I need y'all to subscribe, I need y'all to do all those things because we're on the road to 500, we're trying to get 500 by the end of this year, so everyone show some love, I love y'all, and let's get straight into this. There is no denying it, Mr. Beast has been surrounded by controversy lately as his brand and reputation are slowly being destroyed. But back in 2022, there was another Mr. Beast that suddenly dominated social media. This What's meme, there? better known as the fake Mr. Beast, became wildly pop- Who the fuck is this guy? I don't know for me, this nigga does not look like Miss. Does he look like Mr. Beast? Do they really look alike? I guess the, the, the mustache and beard combo. I think that's it. Like, I don't know. I don't see the resemblance. Maybe I'm crazy. This here is fake Mr. Beast. Popular on both YouTube and Twitter with videos about it seeing millions of views coming in. It's creator okay. Skitsy gaining 100,000 subscribers in a single month. And oh, wow. a real Mr. Beast even meeting up Beast. with him to collaborate. However, oh, this Mr. Success Beast also collab with him. I don't see the resemblance still. I'm not gonna lie. I don't see the resemblance at all. Also resulted in harassment, mental breakdowns, betrayal, and him becoming completely broke. So what happened? Well, it's time to find out. Our story begins in 2013, when a young Skitsy posted his first ever video on YouTube titled Apple Bloom, Stop Being Such a Neck, Story oh, cool. of the Blanks Part 1. How's it going? We are, today we are going to play Friendship is 8-Bit, Story of the Blanks, last game by Donuts. Bro, I, I love watching creator's first video. It's actually my favorite thing to do. Like going back to like creator's first, first videos, or at least the first ones that they leave up on the channel. Cause you know, some people delete their, like their first stuff cause it's embarrassing, but go, go on your favorite creator's channel and watch his first video. And I can guarantee you would not have subbed. You would not have subs. If you've seen his video come up however long, 10 years ago, eight years ago, you would not be a subscriber. And that's, it's just my favorite thing. I love doing it. This obviously wasn't the highest quality video on the platform with its pixelated thumbnail, black sidebars, and a tiny face cam. This is also 2008, right? Right, like you can't expect too much. Like this wasn't time when like clickbait thumbnails were huge and titles and all this. It wasn't This wasn't that time, you know what I mean? But Greg didn't care. He fell in love with being a YouTuber and started posting funny skits to show more of his personality. You shall not pass! You, you shall not pass! That's just it. But this is my house. Now these videos did- You know what my problem is? 11 years ago, this video would have been the funniest thing to me. 11 years ago, I would have loved that video. Didn't get the views he wanted, but this all changed when he suddenly started doing comic dubs. As his Undertale Ooh. comic dub video in 2015 got over 100,000 views, and Skitsy hey. was over the moon. He finally saw some life in his channel, and continued giving the people what they wanted. Posting another comic dub video with over 250,000 views, and another one that even got over 400,000 views. These videos Ooh. ultimately resulted in him earning over 5,000 subscribers. So I wanna say thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers I feel like that's crazy 415,000 views on a video and then you said two other 200,000 and 100,000 and getting only 5,000 subscribers is, is that not is, does that not sound crazy to y'all there's on one of those videos there's 400,000 people watching it and that got you 5,000 people don't subscribe to nobody it took me years to get to 2,000 but then I did some Undertale stuff and it blew up. And Skitsy became known as one of the best voice actors in the scene. Now Skitsy continued making his comic dub videos for years with great success, and also started Ooh. posting on his TikTok page in 2018. But at the end of 2019, he suddenly faced a problem. The views on his YouTube channel died out, and he had to think about the next step in his career. This was his passion, but without an audience to serve, he was done for. So what was next? Well, luckily, during that time, he got invited to an opportunity of a lifetime. One that would change his life forever. And that opportunity was featuring on the Freshy Canal channel. Did anyone else think that was Epic Rap Battles? I was going to say, if this thing was on Epic Rap Battles, that's huge. But that was not Epic Rap Or maybe it is, is it? 20 was the year when Freshy Canal went from animated rap battles no, to rap battles with actor. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this was the Epic Rap Battle. Okay, okay. I... 
relaxing and after a successful mr bean versus charlie chaplin episode they invited skitsy to play steve Irwin in their bear grills versus steve Irwin video unsurprisingly greg absolutely killed his role and the video ended up getting over 300 000 views which got him invited to more videos like walter white versus willy wonka norman bates versus jack torrance and eventually the video that changed everything squid game versus mr beast welcome to your final test i'm mr beast we can scrap the yes, cause I never missed a beat. Yes, somewhere in 2021, Skitsy got invited to play Mr. Beast. When I saw that my friend Fresh Now yeah. was doing the Mr. Beast versus Squid Game thing, I was like, hey, I could pull off Mr. Beast. So I showed him a picture of a kind of like a mock up. And he said, basically, yeah, you can pull it off. Once again, Skitsy absolutely nailed his role. And you would assume that this video immediately blew up due to it having Mr. Beast in the title, right? Well, it actually went under the radar for quite some time, only getting a couple hundred thousand views over the next few months. However, memes about the rap battle were slowly starting to pop up in 2022. <laughs> And throughout this year, everything suddenly exploded. I was working at the factory well, yeah. that time, and yeah, I was pretty okay sense. with that. But sometime in April of 2022, we saw a little tick up of the meme counter. Like, we saw that it was kind of getting popular around that time. And then it died off. I'm like, okay, that was a fun time. But then in December of 2022, it blew up again. And I was basically just uh, accepting it with open arms. I'm like... You know, I'm gonna have my moment in the spotlight. I'm gonna move on and hopefully do my own thing. But yeah, it was very Makes exciting. Sense, it was yeah. uh, a little bit stressful because of how much that the hawk to a girl. You know what I mean? The meme blows up and she's trying to she's trying to lock in with their, her podcast. I hear it. Is the podcast good? I don't know. I've never watched it. I, honestly, it could be it could be a phenomenal podcast. They could that could be giving me the secrets to life. I just never watched it. She's trying to find her lane. I see so much hate on her on her podcast and stuff. I can't hate. That's what you got to do when you get a second in the spotlight. I don't know if she wanted to do content before. Or that's what, but most people want to get into content. And if they have a chance to get into it, why not? Am I crazy for that? Is the is the podcast probably cringe? Probably because there's really no reason to be watching it, from what I know. But. Lock, the, lock it in, man. Do what you gotta do. Attention I was getting at the time, you know, I was getting followers, comments, uh, messages of basically uh, hourly. Memes randomly went viral all over social media. The original video racked up over 10 million views and Skitsy gained a whopping 100,000 subscribers in a single month. But Jeez. this wasn't even it. Jeez. Because in January of 2023, the unthinkable happened. To everyone's surprise, the fake Mr. Beast suddenly met up with the real Mr. Beast, which Greg posted about. Are you guys really surprised? He said to everyone's surprise. If he, if, ever, if Mr. Beast sees a meme that's blown up and it's about him, why would he not? That's just, it's a good business move. That's not a surprise to anyone. It makes so much sense, honestly. On Twitter. And a few days later, Jimmy even released both a TikTok and YouTube short of them together. Because of the millions of views these videos gained, Skitsy started posting more on TikTok as well, introducing himself as the fake Mr. Beast. Hello, this is Mr. Beast from the Mr. Beast meme. I'm on TikTok. I'm on the water. <laughs> Which instantly got over 8 million views. And when he uploaded a YouTube video of him explaining how he met Mr. Beast, it also got over 3.5 million views. Something that was unthinkable for Skitsy just a couple of weeks ago. At this point, it seemed like everything he touched turned into gold. Bam! Planted my flag on Twitter? Viral. Bam! Planted my flag on TikTok? Viral! People just couldn't get enough of this Mr. Beast lookalike. And this is when Greg decided to fully embrace the meme. He did unboxings as Mr. Beast, posted TikToks as Mr. Beast, and even oh, started doing cameos as Mr. He overdid it. Oh, he overdid it. Okay, this is not on Mr. Beast. This is on him. At one point, it's like funny. Hey, he looks like Mr. Beast, whatever. It's a fun joke, but he's his own person. But now he's just, now he's trying to be Mr. Beast. He's trying to be Mr. Beast, which is, this, this is where the downfall is going to come. Mr. Beast, where fans could pay him for a video. Hello, I am Mr. Beast. The fog is, the fog is coming. The fog is coming. During this time, everyone absolutely loved him. However, there were only just a select few who saw beyond his character and truly appreciated him for his humor and personality, which was starting to become a huge problem. Even though his TikTok eventually reached 1 million followers and his subscribers on YouTube were growing, Greg suddenly started having this weird feeling behind the scenes. Basically what happened was, uh, you know, I was trying to, I was pandering a little bit. I'm like, hey, you guys like the Mr. Beast meme, so I'm right here, look at me type deal. You know, I did that for like a month or two just to just to kind of be friendly with the public and have my moment. But around February, I was like, okay, let's let's move on from this and make my own content. I was kind of wanting to do the way of Jimmy here, Brittany Bursky, all of those kind of people where I have my meme 
and then I turn it into mm -hmm. my own kind of yeah. personality which, brand. Which works, he yeah. wanted to be more than just a Mr. Beast meme, so his plan was to make more content based on his personality. But all of these videos didn't get anywhere near the views he used to get, and on TikTok, it was even worse. When he cosplayed as Mr. Beast, he would get millions of views. But if he didn't, views would be almost non-existent. So, Skitsy was stuck. Yeah. And he did what any normal human being would do. Give the people what they want. Fans obviously... So you fucked up a few places. Doing the meme, the meme was not a bad thing. You know, you got your views, people are like, Oh my god, this guy, this Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, right? What you have to do is play the Mr. Beast into you. Like, you have to, like, slowly convert. Like, you don't just stop doing it. If something is working, don't just completely stop it. Or else, yeah, it's all gonna drop out. But do like your kind of videos with Mr. Beast. He was doing the um, what was it? Comic um dubs, right? Do like do something with like a Mr. Beast thing. I, I, I add Mr. Beast into that. Move it. Show people that you have your own lane. Go back to your old videos, and people are gonna be like, oh yeah, okay, I remember you. This is you. You still have to play into it for a little bit. You're not. If you just switch off, you're never gonna get the same the same vibe. It's never gonna happen. And then also, you don't go back. You don't go back. You don't prove people that they're right. Whenever you prove people that they're right, that's when that's when they got you, and you lost. Now it's over. Like you can't come back from that. It's that. <laughs> Come on, man. Notice this, but he had no choice. Because what nobody knew at this time was that after having the meeting with Mr. Beast, he was actually forced to go all in with content creation. Uh, when I went to go meet, meet Mr. Beast, I actually lost my job because it worked on a point system and I ran out of points. But I thought to myself, I'm like, uh, this is the perfect jumping point. Now, as he said, Whoa. this wasn't too bad. He was making good money from Cameo. His views were still mm -hmm. decent when he cosplayed as the Mr. Beast meme. And famous YouTubers even offered him plenty of collaborations. He got invited to videos for Eric, I show speed and even Mr. Beast himself. In fact, I showed him a message around that time as well, but couldn't find a way to tell his story properly, so that unfortunately fell through. However, all of these opportunities made Skitsy extremely hopeful, and when Eric even promised him that the whole video would be around him and that this would be his breakthrough video, it seemed like he finally would be able to get the career he always wanted. Are you tired of your YouTube channel not getting the attention it deserves? Building a YouTube channel can be a very lucrative Yet, as time went on, things started falling through and okay. did so in ways that completely crushed Skitsy mentally. Even though I know I'm not earned a collaboration and that they have no reason to, you know, go through with that, it does feel very disrespectful in the ways they have gone about it. Like, I show speed, uh, I show speed's manager set me up and put me in their Discord. Basically, their friends just uh, kind of bullied me and kicked me right out before anything ever happened. They oh, told me wow. to do an impression of Peter Griffin, and obviously they didn't like it very much, but, you know, it really wasn't that big of a deal, but they were an asshole about it. Airac and their manager basically had me on standby. If you're someone who doesn't watch ISO Speed, and you're only doing collaborations views, you're gonna be hurt, because that's how they are. That's that's how it is. That's his fan base. They're bullies. They like to bully people. That's the, that's what they even bully speed. They bully speed himself. If I was to go on a speed thing right now, I'd be like, yeah, like I, if I get a bully, I'd be like, hey, I know that's what they do. I can't expect everyone to act professionally when I know that's them, right? You can't be mad at them for that, right? Am I wrong for that? I for like seven months, basically promising me and making me sign NDAs, telling me that I could be a part of their video. You know, this could be like my my breakout moment, just to kind of be like, mm, never mind. Never mind, we're not doing it anymore. And it's like that that crushed me. So at this point, Skitsy was starting to feel the heat. His fame started to dry up over the next couple of months, and with it came financial struggles. I tried to do it full time for a while, that kind of failed. Uh, so I had to take on a few few part time jobs. I worked at Jimmy John's for about a month and I worked at the gas station for about a year. In fact, it became so bad at one point that he had to survive purely off of Mr. Beast cameos and donating blood plasma, which put him wow. in a very dark place for a while and slowly ruined his life. I, I mean, it affected me in a bad way, maybe like not in a deep depression way, but like I said, it was very dehumanizing. Like I felt like I was no one if I wasn't Mr. Beast, which is why I held on to it for so long. It forced him to pick up the part-time jobs he desperately needed, but the income from his content creation was still crucial, as he needed it for his basic human needs and staying alive. So yeah. he continued being what people wanted him to be, and every time he tried to do anything else, he would get tons of harassment from viewers. I want to be known for me, I, want, I don't want to be known for Mr. Beast. It's, it's exhausting playing somebody who isn't yourself. And when yes, everybody is no, calling you Mr. Beast or telling you you fall off the moment you stop doing the Mr. Beast thing, it's uh 
it's aggravating and very dehumanizing. It's like, I wanted to move on, but nobody was letting me move on. Skitsy was basically doing everything possible to make it work. And fortunately, despite all the false promises and cancelled collaborations, there were still some people who saw potential in it. In February of 2024, Sam Hyde invited Skitsy to come on his reality show Fish Tank, offering oh, wow, him dude. a whopping $1,000 for one day of acting as Mr. Beast there. Now, Fish Tank is basically a 24 7 interactive reality show where a number of contestants cohabitate and interact with viewers in real time for six weeks. The program has been compared to the Big Brother television franchise due to its oh, format, while Fish others Tank. have compared it to the Stanford Prison. Do we gotta start react? We gotta do a reaction to Fish Tank? Fish Tank reaction, guys? I think that would be sick. I never heard fish stick before this. It's an experiment after its content. But one thing is for certain. It can get absolutely messy. Say that our uh, total of 11 days. It was dirty all, almost all the time. There was screaming and yelling and fighting a lot of the time. So we had some chill moments. It smelled bad a lot. However, despite this, oh, Skitsy yeah. managed to stay longer than the original one day that was planned and spooled through it for an entire 11 days to get $4,000, which helped him out a lot financially. Because That's remember, he was still struggling during this time. And you could really see this during one of the fish tank days when he had a mental breakdown. Airsoft fatty splattered blue paint on my yellow Mr. Beast shirt that I was using to make all my cameos. And that kind of made, made me have a breakdown because that was my main source of income. I'm not laughing. 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 That's fucked up. That's fucked up. It's a fucked up thing to do. That's income. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> No, no, I'm not laughing. Well, I understand. I understand. And I, I, I get it. Especially because you feel trapped. You feel like you can't do anything else. I, I understand that completely. But there's a t-shirt. But there's a t-shirt. Man, you'll be fine. Get another one. You just made $4,000. Get another shirt. <laughs> I know you're going through it. So I'm, I really, I really want, I want to be more, I want to be more sensitive to it. Because I get it. He was going through it. But it's a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a fucking t-shirt, man. Greg, stay in the house one more day, tough it out. And a couple of U.S. are going to donate to your choice of charity. People thought that he was Did he just go sit in a doghouse? Sorry. This is con this is content. This is he's not serious. He's not he's not serious. He's not serious. He's upset because he's the Mr. Serious. Beast shirt was ruined. But it was actually because it was his main source of income and that he had to wait three or four days for a new shirt to be delivered. Which was time he didn't really have. This whole period was yeah. extremely difficult for Skitsy. And to make matters even worse, he even got swatted once during one of his live streams. I could have gotten fucking shot. No, swatties are scary, man. I don't know. I don't know if I can hold if I can handle a swatting, man. That's actually terrifying. Yeah, I don't know. Swatting, swatting are just the scariest things in my opinion. Okay, he might be overdoing with the emotionalness though. Maybe it's just because I'm not a super emotional guy. So I don't, sometimes when I'm watching people get emotional, I get awkward. So I'm sorry guys, I'm really, I really apologize. I feel like he's, he's ODing with the emotionalness a little bit. A little bit. But the fish tank viewers liked his vulnerability and it actually caused him to get a new audience because of it. This, okay. together with the fact that his dad moved in with him to help him with his rent, resulted in Skitsy finding new motivation and taking the ballsy move of abandoning the fake Mr. Beast persona forever. He uh, hasn't he uploaded a single a Mr. Beast ago. video in over nine months, apart from him sarcastically clickbaiting it in the title and thumbnail, made a new TikTok account for people who truly liked him for his personality, and even closed his cameo forever to distance himself from the meme this obviously had a financial impact but skitsy says that he's happier than ever before and able to do content creation full time again yeah i make about uh 500 a month so that's uh that's pretty decent you know like i guess that's not perfect but i'm very i'm very happy and i'm very gracious about all the support i have been given but like i said a majority of that is coming from my new my new uh fans not my old fans this man doesn't want to be a millionaire he just wants to create content and entertain people even if it That's means it. breaking even and i can absolutely respect that absolutely, as a youtuber absolutely. myself i was happy when i could finally support myself financially and do this full time so greg's story really resonated with me and when i asked him for a final message to the people watching at home he told me this i think the heart of this story is uh, despite being at your very, at your very, very worst, and ha having any sense of hope taken away from you, I mean, you can still make it out of there. You know, it's not a matter of what you're dealing with; it's a how. It's a matter of how long you're willing to deal with it to see the the goodness in the world. Right now, it's not a matter of what you're dealing with; it's a matter of how long you're willing to deal with it to get to the goodness. Hype shit. My fault, Mr. Fake Beast. That that was motivational as hell.
That was mad motivation. I'ma say that. Kitsy is streaming daily on Twitch for only 17 to 50 viewers. And is losing thousands of subscribers on YouTube every single month. So I say we change that. All of his links are in the description. So if you enjoy his personality and humor, definitely check him out. And give him the love that he absolutely deserves. Good video. Really good video though. Honestly, I learned a lot. Really, really good video. I didn't know about that channel before. I'm definitely gonna watch more of their videos. It is really sad seeing some people go through that. Um, but it's also meme life culture, man. If you're a meme and you're not like, you're not known for you. Also, your personality can't hold the candle. You're not going to do it. That's all it is. And also, if you're too scared to get to, to, to go back to your own thing, you're never going to make it past it. That's all it is. And I'm happy that he's doing his own thing now, man. Honestly, even if he's not hitting the views that he was hitting before, because he's known, he has a face, right? So when he starts making videos that start popping off, things like, oh my God, yeah, that was the beast guy cool and it's gonna all blow up it's gonna keep going from there and it's i'm telling and it's, it's just a matter of time man so that that man needs to keep on working i'm happy he's he's he's, he's working on it yeah good video so you already know it's cool kamar cool to can i'm gonna catch y'all next time